If you like painting while you're out and about, you may have considered buying a little travel kit. I've been lucky enough to be sent this one from Viviva Colours. So I'm going to show you what's inside and then put everything through its paces so that you can decide whether this is right for you. My name is Liz Chatterton. I'm a watercolour artist based in Berkshire. And every week I share a tip, trick or technique that I wish I'd known about ages ago. And I also do a few reviews of materials so that you don't waste your money. This week I'm going to look at this A6 Viviva travel kit. This is exciting. I've just been sent the travel paint kit from Viviva Colours. It says it's everything I need to paint on the go. I love urban sketching. I like when I travel to be able to take a little kit with me. So I'm really intrigued to see what this is like. Let's not talk and let's get it out. Let's see. Oh, that goes under there. Oh, right. So we've got this nice pouch that's kept shut with the the elastic i presume that is plastic certainly not leather i do recall on their website saying that their products are all vegetarian so obviously that is plastic in this little pocket which is a nice size and it's it's got sort of a uh, expansion we've got a set of their gorgeous color sheets now if you haven't come across Viviva colour sheets. They're beautiful. So basically, it's watercolour, really vibrant, dye-based watercolour, applied to sheet, dried, so that it's very lightweight and you can just use water to activate them. And they have these little sheets in between so nothing sticks together and there's a little mixing area at the back so that you can mix your own colours. 16 colours in there. I've done a full review of these. Um, I'll put a link in the description because I'm useless at putting these cards so that you can find the link. Probably the most fun watercolours I've used for ages, so I love those. We've got a little water brush here. That's sort of a nice medium tip. We've got a black pen here. So a little technical pen, fine liner, whatever you like to call it. And that is a 0.5, which is a good standard width. Nice holder for that. So we've got this little sketchbook that you can take out. It's got 24 leaves. It's 240 grams per square meter or 120 pounds. And the color of the paper yeah, it's nice. It says it's ivory and I was a little concerned. Let me grab ordinary. That's watercolour paper. I was a little concerned it would be quite yellow if they say ivory, but colour wise, that looks pretty good. I checked on the Viviva website and you can get replacements for this because there's nothing that I hate more than you. You've bought a set and you can't, you know, replace things and you can get replacement colour sheets you can get individual colour sheets that are replaced I have to say for me spiral binding isn't my favourite sort of binding because I like sketchbooks where you can work across the fold let me just grab this is a moleskin sketchbook that I use when I'm out and about actually that was done with Viviva colour sheets uh, just at, I was at our local lake and just sort of sat sketching using the colour sheets in the wild. So I do like working across the fold. But here I can see the logic because you can open it up, sketch and, and it is very compact. But I wonder if I open that seam, I wonder if I could put an A6 notebook that opens that way. Right, I will do this review and then I will have a little go at that. So if it works, I'll show you. And if, it, if it's not on the end of this film, you know the whole thing fell to pieces and I've ruined it. So I know that I love the Viviva colour sheets. What I want to do is try the other bits and see how they all work together in this, this set. So I'm gonna fill up my water brush, just make sure that's on camera. Just going to, whoops squeeze that and get some water in that. This is not how I recommend filling water brushes. I would just put it under the tap, but I don't have a tap in my studio. I need to make sure this is actually waterproof. 
if it's not waterproof and then I put watercolour on top, it's all going to run and that will be upsetting. So with your water brush, you, you just push where it says push and the water will flow through the bristles and let's just check. Oh, look, that is waterproof. The only thing that I would add to this if I was going out is a bit of kitchen towel because we all know how jolly useful that is. And that would just fit in there, wouldn't it? So, you know, that, that would all shut up and that would be good. But kitchen towel is really useful, especially if you're using a little water brush just for wiping it off in between colours. Now, as I say, I have done a full review of these and in that review, the one thing that I found really useful to do is to pick up a little bit of the colour and swatch it out so that we know what colour it is. Because you can see here we've got that crimson. Well, it looks quite brown in the dry swatch, but of course it's this beautiful colour. Let's just do that so you can see the colours here. It seems such a shame to, to muck these up because they are so beautiful. They are dye based, which does mean that their light fastness isn't as much as it would be for ordinary watercolour. But for sketching, where it'll be in a sketchbook, you know, they are just such pops of colour. Now, look at this peacock blue. Well, it looks pink. There's a pink sheen to it. So as soon as you swatch it you can see it is a real peacock blue and then this this is violet which i know it is but it actually looks gold it's incredible so there there's your violet and this is the one color that i find doesn't pick up quite as quickly as the others i don't know why but that again i just found that with my previous set if it's wet like this it's best not to close it up doesn't matter if you do because you've got those protective papers but the best thing is just to stand it on its side like that and let it dry off. The first sheet of a sketchbook is always a bit daunting because it's just blank and perfect. What I sometimes like to do is to sketch my art materials because they're always to hand and then that overcomes that fear of the blank page and just see how this little fine liner works. This does not have to be a perfect drawing in any shape or form. We are just seeing what the, the paper is like and what the materials are like. This is a hot press surface. It's very smooth. There's no tooth there to interfere with our lines. And this little pen, which is, it says it's Mangak 05 is nice and dark and flowing. I'll just put that thread there. There's a piston inside this pen. So let's draw that piston. And then we've got the screw mechanism down there. So I'm gonna pick up some color. I just a bit of a wash. The hardest thing of getting used to these colour sheets is just how vibrant they are and that you only need a tiny amount to get on the paper. If you tend to be a little bit heavy-handed then these will take getting used to. The colours went over without any of that pen running, that's great. The water brush is working nicely. And let's just check on the other side, we've got no bleed through. Let's do another pen and put another colour in. What colour shall we have? Shall we pretend? Which is your favourite there? I like the magenta. I'm going to pretend that there is some magenta ink in the barrel little magenta tip to that pen and then we'll go and put a little bit of the black and let that mix. I was a little concerned just how tiny this 
notebook is, uh, it's A6. You can get an A5 version. And I have to say, I much prefer working on a, a larger sheet of paper. But of course, if this is a travel set that, and you just want something that goes in your pocket so that you can sketch when you've got free moment in your day, then an A5, you've got to have very large pockets or a very large handbag and it's less likely to, to fit. Also, the good thing about a small sketchbook is that it's a little more discreet so if say you were sketching people um you're sitting in a coffee shop or something they wouldn't know that you're sketching them that beautiful peacock blue so where would the the ink would be there if it was full of ink that's where it would be and i'll put some ink on the the nib there. In the UK the recommended price of this set is 39.95 but I did a quick google and I saw it for 33 33.96 I think so it's certainly available from a number of retailers for for a different price. In the US I saw that it's the recommended price is $52 and that it was it is currently on sale for 45. These little refill books are ten dollars usually but I saw that they were on for for six dollars they're doing a sale. I must admit that I was a little concerned about the weight of the paper because it's 120 pounds but because it's quite a small book there isn't any cockling on that piece of paper at all and if you're doing pen and wash you're probably not putting a huge amount of water on. So shall we have a go at something else? Look I bought these this morning aren't they gorgeous sunflowers so grabbing that beautiful yellow and I'm going to start with a few petals I'm just going to do a sort of half, half of some flower just to see what it's like with using more water on the page. And you can just see the beautiful vibrancy of these watercolours and the transparency. They really are beautiful. So that's a mixture of the chrome yellow and the yellow ochre. And then this is a little bit of burnt sienna being dropped in, wet into wet. Look at that flow of colour there. Now, let's have a think what would be good to do in the middle. I wonder about mixing violet colour and some of that yellow. Oh no, that's the chrome yellow. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Makes that really good. Sort of dark, dark brown. And if we put it here like this. That's quite fun. Put some pure violet in the middle and I'm loving how the colours are moving on this very smooth surface. Dark centre, just put some of that black into the middle and just let that wiggle around like that and then we've got these sort of little green leaves. Let's grab some sap green sort of as a a leaf behind, might join some of those up. Now, what I don't know, and I've never tried with these, I wonder how these colours take salt texture. Because if I just sort of put a little bit of salt in the middle of there, I wonder if that will react nicely. I think I'm just going to extend this right to the edge looked a bit odd that it was uh, stopped there. This little mixing thing at the back is really useful. It's coated with, 
I don't know, some sort of protectant so you can just wipe it off. We'll come back when this is dry. The salt did work and do leave some interesting textures and marks, so let's just rub it off. If any of it's stuck, just give it a little scrape with a fingernail. And again, there's no bleed through whatsoever, and you saw I put loads of water on there. So I'm delighted with that. And just for completeness, although I rather like that as it is, I wonder we could we did pen first and watercolour on that first page. So let's just see how this pen goes on top of the, the watercolour. It's going on really smoothly. I think I probably prefer just to leave it without the pen, but to say for sake of completeness, it is always good to try your materials and see how they work. I'm just sort of making some petals up here, finding petally sort of shapes in the watercolour. You really don't have to be beholden to the paint or the line when you're doing line and wash. It's fun to let them do their own thing. And then here we've got the leaves which come round. We'll make this into a bigger leaf here. Uh, what should we do? Shall we just emphasise a few of those marks in the centre. It's amazing patterns when you start to look closely at the sunflower. It becomes more obvious when it's just seeds but they are just beautiful. So what would I recommend this set for? Well if you like to paint on the go and you're happy working on a small format like this. You want everything neat and tidy inside your briefcase, your handbag, your, your man bag, then it's perfect. If you want to be relatively discreet, then again, this size will be perfect for you. It does make me laugh because Viviva on their website says that it's a mess-free way of sketching. Now, I don't know how they do mess free, but um, <laughs> I'm not I'm not mess free, am I? But it does keep everything together. It tr seems to dry very quickly on this paper. We've got no bleed through, so that can just go, you know, away. And these can fold up even when they're wet and just be popped away. So say you are going to a meeting or you're meeting friends or something like that you've got there a bit early you could just whip this out of your bag and use it and then get it put away and that is really neat it would also make the most delightful present for any artist in your life so i think that's a real winner and certainly something that i will continue to use <laughs> So what I wanted to check was whether I can open up this pocket so that I can have a portrait book. Let me take all these bits out. And what I'm wondering is whether I can open this seam. So I've got a sharp knife and I'm just going to try and cut that stitching. But let's see what we've got. Oh, I see. Think we might be okay. Can you see I'm opening up that pocket? I'm so sorry, Viviva. I really hope this doesn't offend you. So there's a bit of cardboard in there. Right, let me see if I can find a little book haven't got an A6 portrait book but I've got this little concertina book so what I'm envisaging is I can put it in there and in this case to say it's a concertina book but I could take that out and about use this set and it's all being held in place in my little kit Oh, that's worked <laughs> which <laughs> you can tell from my voice I'm a bit surprised because I was a little concerned that I might have just ruined a really gorgeous travel set if you want a book that way 
Does it still close? Yes, it does. Fantastic. Oh, that's great. I shall look out for a little A6 portrait sketch pad. And I don't think I have destroyed the integrity of this lovely cover at all. So I might actually suggest that to Viviva and see whether they like that as an idea. <laughs> or they might watch this video and think, just keep the knife away from my gorgeous, gorgeous travel set.